Hello everybody and welcome back this week we are having a sneaky three night multi park up extravaganza We have a pub stop with a difference Massive brilliant surprise on it, well don't get too carried away A free park up in a country estate We like a freebie And a cute little certified site When she says cute she means me What do you fancy for breakfast? Cereal or toast? Wouldn't it be good if we could have like a proper breakfast just once in a while, like a cooked breakfast? I haven't, I haven't got any stuff for a cooked breakfast. I like a bit of sausage in the morning. I just don't know what to say to that. Well, I haven't got any sausage. So what do you want to do about that? Well, just usual then. Although I do have an idea. You can have a cup breakfast tomorrow. Uh, promise? Promise. Right then. This life is heavy with an overload. Like every door I see is shut. But when we sink into our deepest lows, we've got nowhere to go but up. That's when you say, hey, my love, we're nowhere near the end. There'll come a day. Uh, why don't you explain where we are? Well, we are at the old stone trough in a town called Kelbrook in Lancashire. We've seen this place on loads of Facebook groups as being a really good place to stop because it's a hotel, it's got five dedicated motorhome pictures with services. And, and here's the good bit, you pay £10 a night and you get your breakfast free in the morning. It's almost like when something's too good to be true, it, it is. But it, first impressions are, for 10 quid, you've got a bay to put your, your van in, there's fresh water, there's an Elson. It's like a big long drop well. Oh, nice. But it's there. There's a toilet. There's no grey waste, but you know, hey ho. But the breakfast is advertised at 8.95 ahead. So when you times that by two, I, I don't understand how we can get a free breakfast this morning. But we'll give it a whirl. So it's almost too good to be true. I know. And it's dog friendly. The dog can go anywhere woof, woof. they want in the hotel. Came with their own. Well, they can't because we haven't booked a room. No. You can't just go wandering in all bedrooms. In the public areas. <laughs> and got his own little biscuits and a really lovely lady on reception. Yeah, like a little doggy welcome pack yeah. with a few biscuits in. So we're just going to go and have a wander down to the next town, which is called Falridge, down to the canal, and maybe have a little cake. And all this, I uh, feel a bit of a cheat really. We're about half an hour away from home. <laughs> Saving on diesel. Oh, I went down to the water and found my faith. Got my head for the blessings that come my way. They'll come a day. So this is the Fallridge Tunnel, and I think it's a mile. It's 1,490 metres. More or less a mile. 1,600 would be a mile. Anyway, go on. Well, that's all I know at the minute. Well, how tall is it? It is only just over two and a half metres high. With? 5.2 metres. How long does it take to drive your boat through? About 20 minutes. I, I would have just said, look, it's just a big old dark tunnel. There's no need for all that detail. Well, you do need to have detail because it's about facts, isn't it? Interesting facts. So do you want to know another fascinating fact about that tunnel? No. Where well, are going to get one anyway? Back in 1912, a cow fell in at the other end, at the cone end, swam all the way up 
and they dragged it out and revived it with brandy. I wish a cow would fall on me. <laughs> Can be arranged. And allegedly, the, the cow was called a buttercup, but that just might be added afterwards. Okay. Should we go and get some cake? Yeah. There's four of us now. Yeah, it's filling up. There's room for another. And I've got room for a beer. Go on then. Because if we're going to be here, we need to show what the bar facilities look like. And the only way of doing that is going in. You can't go in and not have a pint. Any excuse for you? The truth hurt more than that I would still make plans with all of your friends' dinners And I'd save you a plate Like you're coming by late Covering up the fact that you're gone Lied to myself and said I'm moving on I could feel a chapter closing down the very moment I could say it out loud Strength and pain to wash away the hurt Days and waiting longer than you want to Think it's coming into focus how I can picture life without you now Funny how we're far in and out of love Well, did I promise you breakfast? You did, and... Um, did I deliver? Yeah, we've had a fry up and... It, what a brilliant park up. It is, well, it's, it's true. It's not too good to be true, but it is brilliant. It's magic. Good night's sleep. It's quite close to a road, probably 100, 130 metres maybe, but it, it, it didn't sort of interrupt last night. Oh, I could it, just it, hear it. You know, there was a bit of a drone, it. but um, sun's out this morning. We're getting solar. It's like a perfect van life day. And even more perfect, we're off to a UNESCO site in West Yorkshire. So, oh, joy. just when I was in a good mood, you've just gone and ruined my day. You know you like sightseeing with Jane. Couldn't have swallowed that this was the end, no Not fair how you decided How long was your heart divided? Threw me to the side, had to compromise You chose yourself and I I could feel it had to close and down The very moment I could say it out loud Well that was a fail, it's closed To go and find street parking Relief. Well planned So I'll stroke a look there, love, getting that space. Time is perfect there. After Lady my... came back and moved the car and we just stuck in. After my disastrous planning. Mm -hmm. Seconds away from abandoning, so that was good. And that's the mill itself. It's got the biggest collection of Davy Hockney art. You don't know what to say about that, do you? Because you can't take dogs in, so we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to go in anyway. Tell us an interesting fact, please. Something interesting. Well, 
it's not the most picturesque of UNESCO sites, but it is interesting because Sir Titus was leading in his day. Sir Titus. Looking after his workers' health and accommodation, and the grid system meant that they could maximise getting as many houses as they could inside a small area. And it says he maximised, the, he thought about health and well-being near a park, open space. Upshot is, okay, so UNESCO site, but I've got to say, I don't get a hankering to come back. I just feel like I'm wandering around any normal town centre. Oh, look at these buildings. These are beautiful. <laughs> okay. Thank God we've only got two hours parking. They are very characterful white people. They've all got curves, uh, sash windows, curves. Uh, doing that now if you're doing the same projects, it would be very flat, stark, and stormed, blocks and blocks of housing. So they, they are quite characterful. I do quite like the houses. I just don't want to keep visiting here as a day out. Because Oh, it's in a terrorist time or something. It's, you know, it's not setting my pants on fire. You were, you were almost positive then, love, and on a semi. roll. I'm semi. I, I feel very semi, but I don't like to talk about that. I like this. It says that um, a medical report in 1867 had noted that indoor washing in private houses is most pernicious and a fruitful source of disease, especially in the young. So you built bathhouses. Living with you in a motorhome. Strength and pain, torture with a hurt. Day is a So these properties were for the foreman who had a little bit more space and a garden at the front. What about that one? They were for the uh, single people shared accommodation. That's where you're going to end up if you carry on bringing me to places like this. Willingly. Think it's coming into focus. What are you doing? When we were heading to that amazing UNESCO site of Saltaire, um, we entered Bradford's low emission zone. Now, I, 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 I don't really need to check. I'm, I'm confident we're a Euro 6 vehicle, so we're okay. I've just gone through the process of checking, because if you don't check, not knowing isn't the excuse. It's quite a hefty fine if you go in the excuse of, oh, I didn't know, they won't wash it. So I've gone through the process and checked. And, uh, and as expected, we're okay. So if you aren't compliant, you can pay a fee and still go in? Um, because I've gone through the process, put my reg in and it said I'm fine. If it says you're not fine, I think then it will tell you what the cost is. The, the, the lesson is, as soon as you see them green signs, before you get to the resort, find somewhere to pull in and just check because it, it's it's not cheap and that's Bath. Uh, I think Newcastle have got one, Bradford, Manchester. Manchester. There's quite a few. And I think we're okay for a bit now because we're Euro 6 and I, I think the, the next change is possibly 2025 or after. Let's get it to me. You can tell who's holding the camera. I'm in today. charge now. Okay, where are we? For God's sake, where are we? We are in St Ives Estate, not with 40 wives. What? St Ives, when I was going to St Ives, I met a man with 40 wives. Well, I feel sorry for him. Anyway, <laughs> I bet he looks haggard. <laughs> we're in St Ives, just outside Ingle, Bradford. The biggest country park in Bradford. And it looks so far a smart park up. We've worked, got a little wander, there's a little lodge and there's a wildlife hide. So like it's been on safari with wildlife and so far we've found somewhere to park the van and it looks like it's not even going to be a charge. Charging has been suspended. So 
let's see. Car parks, you can't beat them. Very quiet last night. Once the walkers had gone, it was alright, wasn't it? Uh, it was really quiet. Last car left about half 10, 11. First car this morning coming on to walk the dog were about six. So no, no complaint with that. We're all utilising public and social space. So um, really quiet overnight, spot on. Ooh, there's a van. Move your head there. Yeah. So what special precautions do we take, Andrew, when we're in a car park? Somewhere like this, because uh, it's, it's not a known quantity to us, so we're always ready to drive away, seats are always forward, everything's put away, so that with minimal fuss, if I need to go, um, I can just put keys in ignition, open blinds and, and scoot off. Um, and outside at Van, I've no silver screens outside, no levelling chocks, step, anything like that, so there's absolutely no need to go outside if we feel the need to go. As yet, that's never happened. Touch wood. You know this ain't the first nor the last till death. I got your pheromones on my breath. So come what may, let's drink it all away. That be best in another world where we both could hide. I'd stay with you all. Yeah. I'm cold, I'm chicken up and down. So the, so, the riverside campsite at Commonly, what a lovely little certified site with the Camping and Caravan Club. We actually came here last June, didn't we? Mm -hmm. As, as um, on, on a rally, we had to go out trying some of the Camping and Caravan Club rallies, uh, and it's a really big green space all around the campsite but at this time of year it's all cordoned off that because obviously it's really soggy it is so soggy. there's limited hard standing pictures but um she's got us on it's really good value for money isn't it yeah it costs 13 pounds for the hard standing pitch and then electricity is seven pounds extra so for us seven pounds is too much to spend on electricity <laughs> because we know we spend less than that at this time of year that's like two pints of dunbar in spoons we didn't pay £7 for electric because there's no need because uh, we've got all that lithium and solar and, and so on. So it's cost us 13 quid for a hard standing pitch. It means it's the third night after being off grid. So it's allowed us access to an Elson Point water and, and all that sort of water on service stuff. And there are showers and toilets, but it's not a heated shower block. So it's a bit chilly. So we've used I used to our pay own. a pound, yeah. pound for a shower. <laughs> so we've used our own facilities. Wouldn't that be nice? We could fall in love again if we forget where and when we lost our Do like Connolly. Little book exchange. So I've got a new reading material. Sent Andrew in to get a little cake for 11 Z. That'll keep us going for a bit, Andrew. What's that? <laughs> it's glass. Old school. So that's it for us this week. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys for tuning in. See you next time.